Nate Chicho, when did you first start discovering the centralized power and media are phony and misleading? Uh, the first time I realized the media was phony, I, I realized it early. Okay, 1978, 79, 1980, when I was like 10, 11 years old. And the only reason I realized this, right, is I immigrated from Iran to Canada. And at the time, I was a kid, right? So I didn't really understand the politics at play, right? And I barely, I didn't speak English. I went around thinking, how are you, man? Hello. So I would go around saying, how are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> right? But during that time, there was an Iran-US hostage crisis, right? And the media, the news networks, because my parents would watch news and stuff, I'd be watching those and they would be showing these things about Iran. And slowly I would learn learn the English and I realized what they were saying. And I realized we're lying. Like they're saying things about the, where I just came from. As a 10 year old, I knew they were lying, right? So I was lucky. I discovered early on that mainstream corporate propaganda is exactly that, is corporate propaganda, centralized power. The other centralization of things, I realized uh, one of the biggest ones was at the end of the 1990s, going into the tech bubble bursting, right? When all of a sudden, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates like eight times in a matter of less than a year, sometimes two, few times, two basis points. Bah, 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 all of a sudden, everyone that was <laughs> indebted borrowed cheap money, their payments tripled. All of a sudden, they're like, what? And they forced bankruptcies up the yin-yang, right? Right? Another one in regards to war was the first Gulf War, right? When I watched, like many other people, CNN live streaming murder and massacre, right? And at the time, first Gulf War in the early 1990s, through Bush Sr., everybody was pro-war. Like, you, you have to appreciate this. For the first Gulf War, right, 99% of the population in Canada and the United States were pro-war. Okay. Not 80%, not 99%. I remember going to a peace rally, anti-war rally, where we were, me and five other people were against the war in our university. We are going, no war. Like, why, were you guys crazy? Why are we going to war? That... We had university students tell us we're idiots, right? We need to go to war. Right there, I realized, oh my God, it like brainwashed up the yin yang. I and I would have discussions with people at, you know, your university. You have a lot of social gathering. You go and I talk to these people. I look at them. I try to look behind their eyes to see if there was any life in there, right? And then when they would. You can tell if they're propagandized, programmed, right? When you talk to someone, they don't really know what they're saying, what the repercussions of their words are. Look look at people in their eyes and then try to look behind. Look into their soul. And you realize it's empty in regards to that specific topic, right? Then you find out, wow, you that see this, you're actually a free human being. And they're NPCs. Oh, oh, what? Enlightening, very brilliant, very liberating. 